yes 42 shades guys it's amazing i'm so happy i'm so happy hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a video so today I'm going to do a review and I'm so excited and happy about this review. From the title you can already see it's the I Am Magic Foundation from Juvia Place. So they have reached out to me with their new product. As you know Juvia Place has been doing very good this year. They first started with uh, brushes and now they have expanded their company and their products. And now they have launched their foundation. So this is the package of the foundation. I really love how they do the packaging. It is so cute and pretty as you guys can see. So inside the box, you will receive a makeup bag and I am loving it. I'm going on holiday in the next two months and this is just perfect. I'm definitely gonna take it with me. And um, inside the makeup bag, you will find a palette so yes i did receive the nubian and nubian three coral palette and also i receive six foundation with three concealer in the box and it's amazing i'm so happy i'm so happy so yes let's jump straight into it let me tell you guys a little bit more about the foundation um, it's I am magic foundation it's a lightweight long wearing creamy formula that has smoothing and soft focus effects that gives a flawless finish a small amount goes a long way and the foundation evens out the complexion by erasing blemishes and refining skin texture so it is suitable for all skin types so you can apply this product with a brush or a simple a beauty sponge. So furthermore, they have three kingdoms. The first kingdom is the Nubia kingdom and this is for my dark skin girls out there. And then you have the medium kingdom which is more for a medium um, skin tone. You have the fair kingdom which is for a, a lighter complexion. So the foundation covers hides and blurs all imperfection all sins all condemnations it's formulated to give a radiant matte finish it blends easily and it gives a soft focus effect and the collection is consists of 42 shades yes 42 shades guys <laughs> so the collection consists of four undertones so you have your warm, your neutral, and your cool and olive undertone. What I really like as well that they have named their foundation after different city and countries in Africa. That is so cool. I really love that. I really love the creativity behind it. It's just amazing. Amazing. So this is the packaging of the foundation, guys. It's a very cute. I love the overall color of it. Also, it is 30 mils, yes, it is, and just to see the size of the foundation in my hand. Okay, so the first swatch that I'm going to do is Gabon, so this is 300, so that's Gabon. It's a bit dark for my complexion. So the way the range of the foundation is, is that it starts from 100, which is for deep dark skin, all the way up to 700, which is for um, a very fair skin. So that's how they range the foundation. So next we have 310 and this is Burkinia. So it looks like a match. It looks like a match, but let's check the other um, foundation before we assume that this is the match. So Gabon has a, a neutral golden undertone and burkinia have a neutral warm undertone so the next swatch that i'm gonna do is 320 and this is zaria so zaria has a warm slightly red undertone so this is a bit too red for me so this is in the shade 330 and this is Accra. 
So Accra has a more cool olive undertone to it. So next we have 340 and this is Kampala. I'm really loving Kampala. I really love this one. So Kampala has a golden undertone to it. Kampala might, might, so Kampala might slightly be my complexion. So next we have Somalia and this is in 350. This is way too light for my complexion, way too light. So far from the swatches, I'm really loving Kampala, which has a, a golden undertone. Okay guys, these are their magic concealers. They sent me three concealers. So in shade four, which I definitely use as my contour shade, and shade 12, which I think it's more for my concealer shade, and the last shade 18, which is a bit too bright as a concealer for me. So today, as foundation, I'm going to use Kampala, and as concealer, I'm going to use shade 12, and as for contour shade, I'm going to use shade number 4. Okay guys, so before I apply the foundation, I will go ahead and prime my face. So I did my skin prep already. So I'm now going to prime my face to prepare my face for the foundation. So it's really important for you guys to do your skin prep before applying your makeup. So that's the best way your makeup will sit and last and look perfectly blended on your skin. So now that my skin is prepped and primed, I'm going to go straight in with the foundation. So they also sent me their beautiful, beautiful brush. It has two colors. It's so lovely. I literally don't want to use it. But let's see how the brush apply the foundation. So as they say, a little bit go a long way. So I'm not going to use a lot of foundation on my face. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply put it at the back of my hand you know just to warm up the foundation so I'm gonna apply a tiny tip first to see how that blends out wow wow guys one pump one pump and I still have more at the back of my hand and I still haven't used all of the pump as yet. This is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so the brush is doing a very good job and applying the foundation. It's like a dense kabuki brush. So it's not a full matte foundation. It is indeed a velvety matte. So it's not like it's dry to the skin. You still can move your face. There's movement, there's flexibility to the face. Okay, so next we're gonna try the concealer. So the concealer that I'm gonna try today is in shade number 12. So I'm not gonna put a lot because as they said, a little bit goes a long way. And this is the applicator. I really love it, it's very thick. It looks like you can get good amounts of product underneath your eyes. It's beautiful. I love it. I love the applicator. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit. Wow, it's very creamy. It goes on so smooth and nice underneath the eyes. And yes, it's not dry. It doesn't look dry. Uh, hopefully it doesn't dry down fast, but we're going to see for later. And guys, look at that. I just dipped the applicator once that's like literally i took it out i haven't put it back in and look at all the coverage it's giving me amazing amazing so we're gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer using my damp beauty sponge so blending out the concealer it looks very easy to blend it's very easy to blend 
and I love it so as you can see it do not dry down very fast and I really love that about it I hate using concealer and as soon as you put it on your face it's like whoop dries up very fast and then it's very hard to blend out but this one is absolutely amazing and look at the blending guys oh my gosh it literally melts into your face dive into your skin and give your under eyes life again <laughs> literally as you guys can see amazing little bit does go a long way wow so next we're gonna go in with the shade number four which i'm gonna use as my contour shade so i'm not gonna put a lot i'm just gonna put a tad amount like that and right here so I'm going to use the bum of my beauty sponge to blend that out. I think I put a lot. Even though I put a ton amount, look at that guys. Wow. Okay, we can work with it. We can work with it. <laughs> Loving it so far. The coverage that it's giving me. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna lightly set my under eyes with some setting powder. The best way to go when you're using a velvety matte or matte concealer and foundation is to lightly set your face so your skin can still breathe underneath the foundation and concealer. So now that I've lightly set my concealed area, I'm going to go in and set the contours area as well and for this i'm also gonna set it very lightly because as you can see the contour is already doing its bit so i don't want to overdo it today okay guys so my face is fully set and as you guys can see it's not too matte and dry and cakey my skin can still breathe my skin is still movable there's flexibility to my face and it's so flawless like look at the coverage i'm coming up close for you guys to see like the coverage is something to die for like come on guys you guys have to get your hand on this foundation and concealer Okay, so I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do my eyes, add some highlighter and I'll be back shortly. Okay guys, I'm back. I've just finished my face. What I did, I add some eyeshadow, some highlighter and some lashes with lipstick and yes, I love the overall look. It literally looked like I do not have any foundation or concealer on. It literally melts away in my skin and I am so happy I'm so grateful that Juvia Place reached out to me and sent me these beautiful products I'm proud of the company how far they have gotten and congratulations to Julia Place for their big launch they did a really really good job at this they always always give us good and amazing product and they blew my mind away with their foundation and concealer i am very happy for this opportunity to work with them and if you guys are interested in getting the foundation and concealer you can visit their website i will leave the link down below in the description box the foundation is 20 dollars so that's roughly 16 pounds the concealer is $14, which is like roughly around 11, 12 pounds. And if you're interested in buying their, the foundation brush, this is $10. So basically seven to eight pounds. So if you do like this review, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Also remember to subscribe, help your girl out, be a part of the family. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload another video. And thanks for tuning in again and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!